right, so where next then, Frank? What, 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 what All right, so, so, so the next one, this is, Garbo has been requesting it, so I thought, like, you know, I might as well bring it on right in the beginning and not tease him and uh, and everyone else. It's the Francesia. This is uh, Pernil de Porco, but uh, uh, the, the pictures that I sent you, oh, this one. There we go, uh, so Francesia, a little bit of a history uh, on the Francesia. Um, gentleman in, in the 60s, Daniel Silva, apparently he uh, uh, was an immigrant going back and forth between France and uh, Portugal. He uh, brought this back. Francesia literally means a little French girl. And you know, when I was looking, when I was thinking about that little French girl, it'd be the kind of joke you and I would do. Hey, you little French girl, you're, you're, you're back in Portugal. What have you got for me? And this particular sandwich is, uh, I guess, a, a bit of an adaptation from the French uh, croque monsieur, uh, which, which literally means Mr. Crunch. That uh, croque monsieur, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> That croque, that croque monsieur uh, is, is one thing, but I thought this is more of a croque madame because the croque madame uh, has the difference between croque monsieur and, and croque madame is the croque madame has the fried egg on top and this one usually has a fried, fried egg on top. The reason why this sandwich is one of the top 10 sandwich, sandwiches in the world is because of what it's got inside. And uh, if, you, if you can show some of the other pictures, I went to this uh, famous um, uh, cafe in um, Porto, uh, yes, this one. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> This is this is this is a mind blowing sandwich. <laughs> if you if you look at this, it's such a, se a sexy sandwich. You, uh, it's got sausages in it. It's got a steak in it. It's got ham in it. <laughs> melted cheese. You've got egg on top. The sauce is made with a little bit of port wine, a little bit of beer, a little bit of tomato sauce, a little bit of pity pity sauce. This uh, you you can't go wrong. No wonder I, I don't even understand why it's in the, why it's not in the top five. I want to know what's in the top five and how can we get this one in the top five? I think it's, I think I think it's, it's, it's a couple of things. Isn't it? It's strawberry uh, for one thing, and uh, and also typically Portuguese. You know, a, a well kept secret. You know, people. The Portuguese do not boast about their culture in the way that other cultures do. So that's part of the problem. They, they don't, and uh, it's, but we are here to do that, right? And that's exactly what we're doing. We, we will uh, shout out loud and proud from the ceilings saying this is a spectacular sandwich. This needs to be right up there. Funny enough, another 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 uh, hidden fact about this one: this used to be a mild afternoon snack. By the way, <laughs> look at these comments, Frank. This is fantastic. Um, yes. Le Leslie's got a recommendation. We're always up for those, Leslie. So, a uh, little place in Matosinhos, which would be uh, pretty much the capital, I think, of, of where we're talking about of this kind of food and the Francesina. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, you haven't mentioned your name. I mean, we could do the Francesina when it comes to you cooking publicly. I'm lo really looking forward to your your version of this, which you probably won't, you know, stray too much away from the original. Um, oh, but there's no way. Well, how can you go wrong with this? You've got you, you've got you, everything that you need in a balanced meal is within a sandwich. So you've got you've got a steak, you've got a ham, you've got sausages, you've got cheese. You got beer. You've got uh, uh, tomato sauce. Yeah, how, how can you go wrong with this? It, it, right. It's not balanced. There's nothing green to be seen. Exactly. That's why it's balanced. This is the most. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get shot by vegans and vegetarians, but I'll tell you, it's caldo verde. That's why I put caldo verde first, because you know you can have a little bit of the kale and the green and whatever with a little bit of chorizo taste and whatever, and then you dive straight into this one, and yeah. Yeah. this will make your day. I, 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 when I had it at Cafe Santiago, which is meant to be a place where uh, this one is um, is done, you you sit down, and what I really liked about the idea is that you sit uh, right at the bar kind of area 
the guy brings the francesia and he makes like an entire effort like he dresses it up nicely right in front of you and i'm just like man just just put it over here i'm going crazy over here and yeah. uh, and he said to me that you just drink it uh, eat this with with cold beer i'm like complete meal bing, bing, bong, bong. this is it <laughs> okay we're driving everybody crazy as usual on a Monday morning, and you'll be you'll wish you'd eaten if you hadn't. Uh, just going back to the soup briefly. After actually, it was it was Lenny Cash's favourite soup. So morning to you, Lenny. Uh, bon dia, everyone from Terence as well. Good morning to you, Terence. And then Andy says Leona makes a spicy Caribbean version um, of the Calder Verde. They call it Saturday soup, which is another sort of hark back, possibly to you know going through the refrigerator on on a on a Saturday morning. Before you go to the market, maybe I don't know, and, and and using all the things that you haven't used so far that week in the soup, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe that's that's the thought behind that. Anything, um, anything green that's been sitting in the back of the fridge that has you know that has become kind of delinquent, you bring it up front, you throw it in the pot, and you say, "Hey, I I drank or I ate something green today." <laughs> Do you talk to your food? Because I'm thinking, I'm, I'm seeing you in my, in my mind's eye there, going to the back of the fridge and bringing all the delinquents out and saying, baby, this is your time to shine. You're going in the Saturday soup. Absolutely. Or, or, or I'm just like, where are you, darling? I've been, I've been ignoring you. Where are you? And I'll look in the back and there's always something green. <laughs> like, I like peppers, but there's always something green. If, it, if, if it's like a parsley and whatever, that the parsley, which has been ignored, and the parsley is saying, Frank, I'm here. Please cook me. And I'm just like, yes, parsley. We're going to have fun with you today. And That's then someone or whatever, yeah. Yeah, in the film, when we make the movie, the food will be talking to Frank. Pick me, pick me for your Kelsey <laughs> Monday. So good morning, both. Getting hungry just looking at the soup and comfort food soup is amazing in Portugal, uh, part of life for all families and for singles. Yeah, thanks, Jacqueline. Good morning to you, Donna Jacqueline. Um, it's wonderful, but basically a heart attack on a plate. What do you mean, Carolyn? Let's just give you another view of it. What I like is the um, how it's draped in cheese as well. It's like a cheese curtain. Uh, Garvo's got started as well over there in Alviagra. Ah, drool! It is a Homer Simpson kind of <laughs> thing on a plate as well, isn't it? Um, Paul and Louise saying the same. Francesina is a heart attack on a plate. Uh, bon dia from Joel, who I'm sure will have more to say about the Francesina. He lives right there in the territory. Um, and uh, he obviously, Antonio knows what we're talking about here, Francesina there. It's the sauce that makes the difference. Now, that could be another idea for your branded um, products that come out. Um, Frank, a picture of you on the, you know, like Paul Newman's dressing, Frank's, you know, sauces, it's a sauce that makes the difference. And a picture of you, you know, shaking your sauce, as it were, on, on the front there. Um, it's a proper way to die of a heart attack. Says well Joel. said, well said, Joel. I, I usually don't agree with Joel but most of the time, but on this one, this is the kind of heart attack you want. Don't you, Joel? No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not praising a heart attack. I'm just saying this wonderful meal. Got a bit carried away with that, haven't we? We're only joking, everybody. Pretty sure my blood pressure and cholesterol levels went up 10% just by looking at that. That is what can happen, apparently, according to the uh, Portuguese health authorities. OMG, that sandwich, that says Penny. There is, we're creating excitement about a sandwich all over the world. It's fantastic. Leslie's uh, got her recommendation there. Uh, Portuguese don't need, um, we, we don't need to prove, uh, We yeah, we prove by what we do. Says yo, it's true, isn't it? And this is what we're finding out. Uh, you're making me hungry, says Pam. <laughs> Hank is saying to Antonio, I must have it. <laughs> <laughs> I must have it. Give me that Francesina now. And uh, we've had somebody trying it on Tercera. Oh, Jersey's uh, the best sandwich ever. Agreed, says Jersey. Tried it on uh, Tercera Island. Out of this world, says Jersey. That's why you have Calder Verde first. Okay, going back to there's nothing green on that plate, not even a sprig of parsley for garnish. Uh, yeah, Calder Verde first. Get that out of the way, then into the uh, front. <laughs> then, then back, not back up the truck, but drive in the truck to eat the Francesina. Does the as, flour... I, as I say, as I say, do the, uh, do, do your do your green medication first. Take that. Take your pain first, and then the pleasure comes right after, which is the sandwich. All in the book, all in the forthcoming book, all this nutritional advice. Does the flour in the bread count as a vegetable, maybe? Uh, we'll go with that this morning. Uh, thanks, Hank. It uh, lo looks lovely, but I don't eat beef or pork. I'm, I mainly eat seafood or chicken, duck or turkey. It looks very delicious. And now it is Gemini. And should we, should we bring up the controversial matter of turning this into a vegan, vegetarian, or cod botherer, like a you know, pescatarian um, version? Should, should this be messed about with in that way, Frank? 
I, I have heard of a vegan vegetarian uh, version of this. And if a vegan vegetarian a version uh, comes up of this, I, I don't want to be seen around it because I'm kind of afraid that my Portuguese friends will pick up a stick and start beating me and just kick me out. I, I will. I think those are grounds to get deported in this country if you mess with the Francisian. I think you might be right there. It's a bit like, you know, in England, if you if you go through a speed camera, or you used to, you used to get a photograph of yourself going through a speed camera. Now, in Portugal, if you're seen eating a vegan Francesina, you also get a photo that you take this as a <laughs> take this as a warning. This, but we saw you on CCTV, and also the the um the you know, the donors around town will also know and be talking to each other about you, won't they? From balcony well, to balcony. The CCTV cameras, first of all, will all be yeah. looking at you, and <laughs> if if you if you got the sandwich anywhere around you, they'll pick it up, and next time they'll come by, they'll kick and give you a nice like whack in the back of your head and say that's what you get boy for messing with my food never again okay uh yes only do that messing about at home or in in, in fancy lisbon <laughs> the only district one is allowed to eat is in porto district everywhere else see there we go there's a there's an even sort of tougher sanction there you're not even meant to eat this anywhere outside the porto district no it's this is this is so precious to the district whenever you you go around you talk to anyone local funny enough when we were there um i think it was super bot there was some kind of festival and i was talking to some people and they they said exactly what joel just said is this sandwich is meant to be eaten over here it's the sauce that makes a difference and the other thing being if you eat it in lisboa and whatever this is the only answer you get you're gonna eat it in lisboa eh. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm dying here, Sir Louise. We've only we've only talked about one thing so far, but this 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 bad boy, as we could call it, or bad girl, as the Francesina, uh, mm -hmm. as his name would have it, does deserve all all this praise. I think. Um, and uh, who is it? It's uh, Lenny saying. I guess uh, the beer w would or could be vegan, of course. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for the assist, there, Lenny. We really appreciate it. Yes, that's the vegan option. Okay, so so um, what would your pairing suggestion be? Because you could go with a sort of hearty red wine with this, or should it really be drunk with a stouty sort of beer? No, this one is with a uh, regular ale. Um, this one would, would would go amazing with it. If you want to go a little bit hearty toddy with this one, maybe go with a, a, a white wine. Uh, I don't know. Actually, not white wine. Or maybe a nice boxed red would be nice with this one but other than that i wouldn't mess with it i would just drink a nice cold beer with this and just just make love to this sandwich this is this is this is a beautiful sandwich which is actually i should point out is probably against the law in a public place <laughs> it doesn't mean that literally anybody that's not a serving suggestion that i would put my name behind um make i guess love to sandwiches <laughs> that's that's breakfast right there this is a, a John in, in, in France saying this, and I think it has knocked the croc monsieur, Mr. Crunch, as I think he called it. That made me giggle. Um, this has knocked Mr. Crunch into a cocked hat. I mean, seriously, just just cheese and ham in a sandwich, that's so basic and unsophisticated, isn't it, for the French, when you that's, could have something like this? Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, the French uh, get away with it because they call it croc monsieur. You know, yeah. like it's, it's got the thing, most Americans are, or even Canadians are guilty of it. Maybe people, people from the UK as well, when they go to a French place, they'll be like, oh, uh, croc monsieur, let me order that. And you're like, until somebody comes up to them and you go, hey, it's a ham and cheese sandwich. They're like, yeah. what do you mean? And you're like, wait for, for a few minutes, it's gonna come to your table, and they're gonna have fun with it. <laughs> yeah, because we do that anyway here, don't we? If I use the, the royal we. The tosh de mishta is just every day. I mean, you'd have you could have a tosh de mishta as a starter before this, and then you've done your cheese and ham sandwich. Take that, France. Uh, Hank's delica, or the animal where the meat comes from, ate some kind of greens, right? We'll count that, okay? Uh, Hank, go with that. <laughs> um, and we, um, like Leslie's saying here, I'm sure they have veggie, but I have seen them actually, and we utterly support, um, you know, vegan and vegetarian buddies here. It's just not somewhere where Frank goes often himself. I think it's fair to say. Uh, and we go to that Francesina place, says Peter, at the back of the camera in Matosinos for, for work dues. Francesina and chips. We shouldn't forget that this comes with chips as well, as you can see on the table there. Um, that's for soaking up all the gravy afterwards, right? 
Oh, that that's it, you, uh, as soon as you open the sandwich up, the gravy is like right underneath. You've got all the uh, fries around. So you, you and you know what the, the best thing about this? It's the dilemma. What do I go with first? And my thing is go with everything. Like in one bite, have a little bit of francesinha, have a little bit of the fries, dip it in the uh, in the gravy and eat it, and just look up and say, "Wow, what a wonderful day." Yeah, and we should, I mean, just to be serious for a moment, don't put too much salt on it to make it run healthy. It would be one bit of advice. <laughs> okay, so... Um, that's, your, that's your health advice. I love that. Not too much salt. That, that's too much as a breakfast, Antonio. Although it does look like a, a quite a good hangover breakfast, as, you know, a kind of the, the Brit hangover thing is, um, is, is the fry-up, isn't it? I mean, this is a, a worthy contender in that department. Um, definitely... A dinner dish, uh, says Joel. Uh, so he's not recommending it for breakfast. Hope the film is animated, says Leslie. Don't, uh, we're talking to Hollywood. Well, we're not yet. In our minds, we're talking to Hollywood or Netflix. But I, I, I think this should lift off the page, lift off Facebook and YouTube into a full-on Netflix. I mean, if Meghan and Harry can do it, I don't see why me and Frank shouldn't. You know, we're, we're, we're an equally adorable couple, aren't we, as Harry and Meghan? Uh, fr Frank talking sex to him. Dude, you old smooth. Yeah, this is the animated version. We'll we'll feature Frank talking sexily to to the food in the fridge. Who doesn't want to watch that? Um, at least you die full and happy, says Gary. Yeah, and people will be saying yes is what he would have wanted. But while he's still got while he's still got Francesina sauce dripping down his face, I wouldn't mind dying during my sleep after eating. Says Joel. We're really upbeat this morning, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed Tessera, says Antonio to Jersey. Uh, Gianni, it'll be great when served. Uh, it would be great when served a little Francesina. So is that a mini version of it? Carl's right. There is a proper way to die from a heart attack. One is from sex. The other is from that sandwich. <laughs> or both. Um, yeah, ultimately. But there's a third way, which is it involves both. Uh, Francesina de Baja in Porto, do a vegan version. There you go. Um, and I, I, I would, I mean, don't tell anyone, but I would give that a go. Uh, lol says Gemini, Lord have mercy at five in the morning in Atlanta, Georgia, with with Victoria looking at that. Uh, lol is lolling all over the place, all over the world. Festival says the Cerveja. I wonder what that means. It should be drunk at a beer festival, maybe. Is the so beer festival I think he's referring to that I went to? All right, so right. before we move on, Frank, tell us a little bit more about the sauce. The sauce is a beer. Um, uh, pureed tomatoes, uh, and um, I've seen some of them at uh, port wine too, and definitely piri piri. This uh, the sauce when it when it was used to when this dish used to be an afternoon snack. It used to be a bit spicier apparently, so they've brought the spice level down. I can imagine. Oh really? Okay, so no wine. No wine. We're getting a knockback from there, pushback from the, the true Portuguese as well. It's only beer to go along with and Superbock. Other beers are crap, he says. You're right. Potty mouth, Joel, uh, this early in the morning, but not a fan of the sagrish there. Just add gravy and you've got a Portuguese uh, poutine or poutine? What's oh, that? No, no, don't do that. I'm Canadian. I'll tell you one thing. I, I mean, Quebecois have poutine. Poutine is cheese curds. Um, gravy and and whatever it's a proper mess. This is this is proper. <laughs> this is proper eating. As a Canadian, I can tell you, I take this before a poutine. Okay, there you go. Uh, Satan and red pepper vegan francesina, uh, tofu and mushroom vegetarian francesina made by Portuguese. I love you, Victoria. <laughs> it's a staunch defense of the vegan and vegetarian. Francesina this morning. Uh, yes, Victoria, but there is a gravy type sauce as well. Uh, talking more about the poutine. Vigna Verde, maybe. Um, Leslie, Joel would not be happy about that. Uh, La Bon Dia, still in, I, I do it. Still in the Cotswolds. Love Frank's echo sound effects. Maybe we can, we can all chip in and buy him a microphone. Yes, let's go straight to the uh, crowdfunder. All, all up for it, Jeff. Donations, bring it on. Yep, okay, <laughs> the crowdfunder for Frank's mic. Uh, well, it looks like good oral skills. Are, oh, stop it. For, you, it's because it's a nighttime for you. It's not for us, Hank. Uh, foodie file, Frank. Uh, oh, Paul's here as well. Good morning, Paul. Giving me heartburn and regret just looking at it, lol. I think Paul's a fan. Uh, proper chip shop chips there as well, I think. Yeah. Um, what do you make of um, Portuguese chips, Frank? Because chips vary around the world, don't they? It's, it's, that's not a French fry, is it? Let's face it. It's, it's not a French fry. The one thing about the chips over here is usually what they do in, uh, I think they do this in the UK, obviously 
in France, they do a double fry, so they'll like basically fry it once and then they'll fry it again for it to be very nice and creamy inside and from the outside, kind of crispy. Over here, it's just fried once and then they bring it out. That's, that's the main difference that I've seen in a lot of the fries. They're still very beautiful. I wouldn't say no to it at one or two o'clock in the morning after I've had a few beers. <laughs> yes, and um, this is what Fiona Rick has died, what the, died doing what they loved. The couple who um, who, who went out with, well, uh, you, you, you know what that's referring to, but that would be on their tombstone. Um, and the Maxine, this sounds like a character from, from the Austin Powers movies, doesn't it? French, yeah, baby, Francesina, Assassina got me. It's on, it's on my tail. <laughs> so um, that's a great little combo there. The Francesina, Assassina, um, another killer, um, says Maxine. Good morning to you. And yeah, Victor, I think, is winding you up. Early doors in um, Atlanta, Georgia there. Love you guys, says Hank. We love you too. And nothing wrong with poutine, a staunch defense of the poutine. Mm. But I guess it's all, it's all relative here. Best chips are Belgian, triple fried. Just add mayo for the time being. You're right, Penny. You are very right. Is it time to move on from the franchise? You know, I think we've done it justice. <laughs> <laughs>